Duchess Meghan's half-brother Thomas Markle Jr. asks the Queen to resolve family feud. Duchess Meghan opens a new window. His half-brother, Thomas Markle Jr. opens a new window, said in a new interview that the Queen should step in to help heal the family's bitter rift. Markle Jr., who shares the same father, Thomas Markle opens a new window, with the former Suits star, told the Sunday Mirror opens a new window. That Queen Elizabeth II opens a new window. And Prince Harry opens a new window. His father, Prince Charles opens a new window, should help reunite the Markles. Meghan, 37, has not spoken to her father since the day after her wedding to Harry in May 2018, which the 74-year-old couldn't attend as he'd suffered a heart attack opens a new window. In the wake of a paparazzi photo scandal he was involved in. The retired TV lighting director has spoken out in a number of interviews about his fractured relationship with his only daughter from his marriage to now ex-wife Doria Ragland opens a new window. Since the Duchess of Sussex now has a child of her own, two-month-old Archie, Markle Jr., 53, is hoping she will be inspired to heal the rift with her family. Now your mother, I hope you're grown up and mature enough to figure out family is very important. The window fitter said in his message to his sibling, who he hasn't spoken to in years. He told the Mirror that he thinks the Queen should step in and tell Meghan to make amends with her father and family. And if the British monarch won't, then Meghan's father-in-law should step in and say, something's not right. They should force her into this, or it's just going to continue to cause problems in her life. Markle Jr. also took aim at the former actress and her luxury lifestyle, saying, Personally, I feel I don't know this Megan anymore. My father doesn't know this Megan anymore. This is a different Megan than we all grew up with. It's very, very strange. A source told us weekly in May that Megan's father is devastated over not being given the chance to see his grandchild. Someday I hope you're smart enough and mature enough to open up and let your family into your life, and baby Archie's life, Markle Jr., who made headlines in January when he was arrested in Oregon for DUI, said in his message to the royal. Most of all I hope you can call your father and let him be at least a part of yours and Archie's life. You owe him that. Meghan Markle, Duchess's estranged brother launches fresh attack with bizarre Diana Slur. The Duchess of Sussex's brother has launched a blistering attack on his estranged half-sister and begged her to make up with her father before it's too late. Thomas Markle Jr., who has not spoken to the former Suits actress in years, is furious that she continues to refuse contact with him and their father Thomas, 75, following her marriage to Prince Harry. Meghan remains close to her mother, Doria Ragland, the only family member to attend baby Archie's christening. Thomas Jr. bizarrely claimed that Harry's late mother, Princess Diana, would be upset that Meghan had cut ties with the Markles, and called on the Queen and Prince Charles to force her to rebuild her relationship with the clan. Father of two Thomas Jr., 53, who lives in the U.S., also seethed about Meghan's privileged lifestyle and said the reported pound 2.4 million cost of renovating Harry and Meghan's Windsor home had disappointed British taxpayers. And he says if their father dies, Meghan will have to carry the burden of not being there and doing the right thing and says she might not even turn up at his deathbed. Meghan, 37, has not spoken to her father since he staged paparazzi photos of himself before her wedding last May. He then pulled out of walking her down the aisle, saying he had suffered a heart attack. Thomas S.R. gave a number of interviews about his daughter and published a heart-wrenching letter from Meghan, in which she said, Your actions have broken my heart into a million pieces. Thomas Jr.'s sister Samantha has also been one of the Duchess's fiercest opponents. But Thomas Jr. is unrepentant about his family's actions and even suggested that her mother Doria could fall out of favor. He said, Doria gets to visit Meghan a day here and day there, that's about it. I think that's probably the next relationship that's going to fall off the map. And he continued, I think Princess Diana would have talked some sense into Harry, not Meghan. Princess Diana was an amazing human being and a true humanitarian. She would never ever even consider doing things like what Meghan has done to her own family. There are some things you just don't do, pretend that you don't have a family or never want to talk to them again.
that's where I think Princess Diana would draw the line. He said his father would be so amazingly overjoyed to see and hold grandson Archie. The sad part of all this is Meghan doesn't realize how much she's hurting him by ignoring him and not letting him into her life again, he said. He's dedicated his entire life to giving Meghan everything she wanted and putting her on the path to where she is today. How he has been excluded is a slap in the face and not fair. And he of all people in the Markle family deserves respect from Meghan. Thomas also claimed Harry was very misinformed about my father. He said, my dad is upset because Harry hasn't taken the time to meet him, talk to him properly and get to know him the way my father is. And he said the Queen should step in and tell Meghan to make amends and Charles should step in and say, I think this is not right, how long do we have to cover this up for? He said, at some point in the future. Whenever it is, I think they should force her into this or it's just going to continue to cause problems for her and her life. God forbid if my father passes away or gets critically ill and she's going to have to carry this burden of not being there for him and not being there at his bedside. If something critical happens to my father, would she show up? I honestly don't think she would. God forbid she's not that heartless. He was very emotionally upset that Meghan didn't come to visit him after he had the heart attack. On the cost of Harry and Meghan's Frogmore Cottage renovation, Thomas said, I could see. That would be pretty disappointing for some of the British taxpayer public. There's a lot of people. Struggling, just trying to get by on a daily basis and those people struggling know this money is coming out of their pockets, to make somebody's privileged lifestyle ten times better for no reason. A spokeswoman for the Duke and Duchess declined to comment.